The sudden death of the Ellen DeGeneres show DJ, Stephen Twitch Boss, has left his family, friends, and fans stunned and saddened. Boss tragically died at the age of 40. On December 14th, TMZ broke the news that the DJ and TV personality's wife, Allison Holker, informed the LAPD the day before that Boss had left their home but had left behind his car. This incident had alarmed Holker, who reportedly told LAPD officers that Boss's behavior was unusual. Police officers discovered Boss's body at a Los Angeles hotel after answering a call related to a shooting. He reportedly died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Boss was a fan-favorite talk show personality. He provided the music for The Ellen DeGeneres Show from 2014 to 2022. In 2020, Boss took on the role of executive producer for the daytime powerhouse. In a May 2022 E! News interview, Boss opened up about the end of the long-running talk show and mentioned the importance of media platforms highlighting the work of everyday people. He said, I really hope that we will see a lot more places, whether it be in talk show form or what, shining a light on ordinary people doing incredible things for people in order to to help them because it's bigger than us. In addition to his time on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Boss leaves behind a lasting legacy through his work in TV and film. He became a competitor on So You Think You Can Dance in its third season, becoming runner-up in the finale of the fourth season. He would appear in many later seasons as a guest judge and choreographer. In a 2015 interview with Cam Williams, the Montgomery, Alabama native noted that he studied dance at Southern Union State Community College prior to appearing on the reality series. Boss soon began to book Hollywood Park Arts and projects like Stomp the Yard 2, Homecoming, Hairspray, The Step Up Franchise, and Drop Dead Diva. In 2015, he scored the part of Malik for the blockbuster film Magic Mike XXL. In addition to being the DJ on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Boss also served as an announcer on Ellen's Game of Games, hosted Clash of the Cover Bands, and co-hosted Disney's Fairy Tale Weddings. During Boss's time on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, the series and DeGeneres herself came under scrutiny when some employees reported that it was a toxic work environment. Boss only had positive things to say about his experience on the set of the talk show, telling E! News in 2020 that he felt blessed on a daily basis to be the show's DJ. In addition to being an accomplished dancer, DJ, and host, Boss was also a devoted husband and father. In a February 2022 People interview, Boss and Holker, both of whom were So You Think You Can Dance alums, opened up about meeting at an industry event and falling for each other. Boss said, We shared a dance at the rap party of that season of So You Think You Can Dance, and we have been together ever since. Boss and Holker married in 2013 and shared three children together, Wesley, Zaya, and Maddox. On December 11th, Boss shared a post on Instagram celebrating his ninth anniversary of marriage with Holker. Alongside images of the couple on their wedding day, he wrote, Happy anniversary, my love, Allison Holker, nine years. Boss's last Instagram post was a repost of one of Holker's posts. It showed the couple dancing together, and Holker captioned it, Holiday Sunday Fun Day Dance with my lover, Sir Twitch a lot. Celebs and fans have been leaving their condolences in light of Boss's untimely death. Actress Olivia Munn wrote in a comment on Holker's dance post, Oh my goodness, my whole heart is with you and your family. Singer Tamar Braxton wrote to Holker, Sister, my heart is broken. I'm so sorry. Another commenter added, RIP, I'm in shock. You were such a light to this world. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK-8255.